Guys, and another one. Yup, there is another Filipina on the international stage. This time around, she is called Mama Clay on the X Factor Malta. Yes, season four, and we will be reacting to her performance today. The title reads, This is your time, Mama Clay. Love it. This is insane. I think just this year I have reacted to Kaylee Shimizu on The Voice US, Joy Eskivias, who is still going, and I think she made it to the finals, according to some of you. So, congratulations to Joy. She's on The Voice Germany. I have reacted to Christelle Renai, my goodness, uh, on uh super talent which is uh, croatia got talent and of course uh towards the middle of the year we reacted to roland abante on uh, agt so america's got talent this proves a couple of things to me that filipinos are literally everywhere in the world and two that they are without a doubt the best singers in the world because believe it or not you see these filipinos on these prestigious uh, international vocal talent shows right but what you don't know is that it's really hard really difficult to make it to that point you know so many people try they audition and I'm not talking about the audition that you actually see on YouTube or on TV that's like the official last audition you know with the with the judges no but there are uh, auditions that happen way before that with other uh, like vocal coaches and stuff you know and so many people don't make it and yet here you go every year in almost every freaking uh, vocal talent show there are Filipinos that impress and go through. Again, that's because they are the best singers in the world. The only thing that is a little odd to me is that, yes, they make it, you know, to these talent shows, but they don't win. They don't win. I still can't remember a Filipino or a Filipina that won an international uh, vocal talent show you know I mean I'm sure there is maybe one perhaps two maybe there are some that I've never heard of you know uh, if you have some names don't hesitate to let us know in the comment section below so yeah, uh, if you are new to the channel, welcome! My name is Ovela, I'm a sound engineer, beat maker and content creator on YouTube. And with that being said, let's discover Mama Klai. I love her name already, let's go! I'm from the Philippines. I'm 37 years old and a 37. Owner. Hey, Location. she's my generation. I'm 36, you know. I will be turning 37 in the Philippines. Oh my god. I just thought about that. I will be in the Philippines during my birthday. That is crazy. Um well I like her tattoo. Is that a cat? Of course, nerve wracking. Ah, oh, that's her um, audition. I was able to pull through, so I'm, I'm happy. And they gave uh, a very good feedback. Damn, which, girl. Uh, I can take with me to improve my craft more. All so right. I'm to be part of the six chair challenge. I never expected that. Well, hopefully, that this performance is even better than her audition that I have not reacted to, obviously. Uh, I'll go this far in this competition. I'm so happy. You go, girl. Is she wearing Air Jordans Hello. with the uh, with that outfit? All six chairs are taken. It's 
been a very fierce night for me myself. Okay, so um, I don't know the rules. He just mentioned that all six chairs have been already taken. Okay, does that mean that? You know, she cannot move to the next round or if she performs really well, she can knock another contestant, you know, out of those chairs and take their place. <laughs> but also for you guys. So what song do you have for us? I'm singing Defying Gravity. Oh, oh big song. Whoa. <laughs> Good luck. Huge song. And enjoy. Thank you. We're going to get a a Broadway type of performance. Breathe, relax, focus. Usa. Something has changed within me. Okay, her name is Rose Marielle Mamaklai. There you go, from Katanta. Mm-hmm. I'm through with play by the rules of someone else's game. Too late for second thing. Too late to go back. Is that her Too mom? Late. Are there her, her family members? So far, so good. She sounds like a Disney princess, you know. I honestly think that Disney should not look any further than the Philippines for, for their singers, to be honest. Like, Filipinos love Disney movies, so why not just go there and pick a singer there and hire them to sing their Disney soundtracks all the time? Hey, the growl is there. So if you can find me, look to the western sky. Someone told me lately, everyone deserves a chance to fly. And if I hey. so I love it. I love it. I can tell that she is telling a story. She is not singing the song as just a song. She is delivering a story. She is trying to act the song as well. That's good. That's really good. She gets more points for that. Mm. Oh yeah, the attitude. Woo. Okay, definitely a belter. Definitely a belter. It's not super clean though. It's not super clean because I feel like she is a little bit uh, stressed. She is nervous. She is, I feel like sometimes she is going slightly faster than the actual tempo of the track. That's how nervous she is. Like, breathe. That's why I said, you know, at the start, like, girl, relax. Try to relax and breathe. Clearly she is nervous, so she is trying to Go a little too fast. Oof, I love the brass. Oh yeah, there you go. You got him. You got him. She got him with that, uh, with that note. She got him. She got him because she hit the note right and her uh, vibrato was really, really nice. And also, I feel like they really don't put any reverb on the microphone. Look, her voice sounds super raw. So I can really, uh, you know, uh, grasp the texture of her voice and the way she sings. Like, if you mess up, it will be very noticeable here. Nice! Nice! She gave me chills!
Nice. That was sweet. That was sweet. The last note, she did hit it right. Maybe it was slightly shaky and maybe she could have done something a little bit more interesting with it. But still, it was very solid. Like, yes, yes, I am satisfied for sure. <laughs> Clearly, the judges are very happy. And the contestants. So, what's going to happen now? Oh, she's emotional. You do not pronounce it Mama Clay, right? <laughs> it's not Mama K-L-A-Y. It's Mama Clay, you know? I think it's Mama Clay. It sounds better, even when you pronounce it like this, Mama Clay. How are you feeling? I'm emotional. Ah, I told you so. She did you hear her answer? I'm just happy it's done. Cause she was stressed as hell. I could tell, like, girl, slow down, slow down. <laughs> um, the love of all the people here, thank you so much. Oh. Ah, ah. <laughs> You know, she looks Filipina, but she looks also a little bit Hawaii, Hawaiian, you know, from Hawaii. I thought, you know, if if anyone can really give us a good a good rendition of the song, it's you. It's definitely you. Oh yeah. And I think you exceeded expectations. <laughs> it's a huge song, bro. Sorry, really, really sorry for my friend Howard there. Because you definitely deserve a chair. Okay. Mama Clay, you're exceptional, you're sensational, you're incredible, and you're inspirational. What? Do you hear their accent, especially the female judge? You're exceptional. You. <laughs> I, I, I'm laughing because this is the Arab accent, to be honest with you guys. Like, I know a lot of uh, Arabs are from my country, Algeria, that have this type of accent, you know? <laughs> oh, that was incredible. You brought the house down with that performance. She brought the house definitely, down. Definitely, 101,000%. You have to have that chair, definitely. Which chair? For sure. That guy's chair? Yeah. Man, my nose is very mine. itchy. It's yours. Oh! You can take my chair. Wow. Mama Claire, I told you this at the auditions and I tell you now again. You really, really deserve to be on this stage. Thank you. Thank you for taking care of your needs and taking care I'm sorry. If they're not going to give her a chance to continue on, then there is absolutely no point of saying, oh, you didn't really, really deserve to be here. You really, really deserve a chair or a spot. It's either you give it to her or you just shut up and say you sang well, okay? Because it hurts even more when you say you really, really deserve and then be like, bye, but we can't keep you, you know? care of yourself and making sure that you are on the stage today. You mentored a lot of people during your life, but this people. is your time. Okay. You deserve it and you deserve this chair. Which chair? Come all on. the way. It's all yours. Mama Clay. We've heard so many stories during the auditions of people who left their country to find a better life in Malta. We hope we welcomed you. <laughs> you are a blessing. Likewise. For us. That's sweet. And with a voice like that, there's no way you're going home oh! to have a chair. Woo! Okay, what does that mean? What does that mean? Are they gonna add an extra chair or is she gonna take somebody else's place? We want you an so yeah, she's gonna take somebody else's chair. So they have to decide now, I think. Oh boy, that's rough. I wish I had listened to all the performers so that I can also choose 
who's the weakest of them all so that she can replace them. Our vocals, the Anderson, Nicole. Mama Clay, please take seat number six. Susani. Oh! Hafna Maria. That's rough. That's rough. That's rough. I don't like this system, man, because on one end, that that contestant is super sad because they've been booted out. And on the other hand, you got the other one, so in this case, the Filipina, who's like super excited to be to have been included in. But in the, at the same time, I'm pretty sure she is sad for the other contestant because behind stage, I'm thinking they have become... You know, close. So it sucks, man. But that's life. That's life. Wow, that's rough, bro. That's rough. Yeah, she's she is. Okay, well, there you go. Uh, clearly, the other contestant is just beside herself. Phew! But, I mean, I can't say if Mama Clay deserves the spot more than this girl because I haven't heard this girl at all, you know? But I think Mama Clay uh, delivered a powerful, powerful performance. Congratulations! Uh, because th the song Defying Gravity is huge. It's huge huge and she carried it you know what i'm saying although you know she carried it a little too fast clearly she was nervous let me know in the comment section below your thoughts i wish her the best for the rest of the of the of this season you know perhaps i will react to more we will see there are so many uh filipinos on the international stage that i'm following currently my god but it's so much fun to me. Um, maraming maraming salamat po. And of course, if you found value in this video, do not hesitate to check out my other reaction videos right here.